Hey guys, check this out. Um, I went ahead and uh, used Bondo. I didn't get any responses back, so uh, I'm just kind of winging it. So um, I think actually for my first time using uh, the regular Bondo, not just to patch up like uh, little tidbits here and there, I got this, uh, I think they call it Bondo Gold. Anyways, um, it seems to feather real nice and um, I just kind of did this really quick just to see how it was going to work and um, kind of think I like this stuff. So um, I think I'm going to go ahead and apply all along the leading edge there. And um, it's really easy once you get this on to be able to see um, just kind of your progress because it's all the same color um, before, you know, with the epoxy and and the uh, fiberglass parts and all that stuff when you're sanding it uh, can be kind of confusing um, or at least for me I should say so anyway so I'm gonna go ahead and apply just a little bit more this was just kind of a first coat to see and I wanted to see how it feathered and how it sanded and all that stuff before I went uh, crazy plus um, I mean I do know that you're supposed to do several thinner coats rather than one giant thick coat but I got it pretty good the first time you can still see it's a little bit thicker there than it is there so that's all I'm trying to do is just get that little portion to match so um, so we get good airflow and all that fun stuff so anyway so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, mix up a little batch I'll show you how I'm applying it I'm just using a popsicle stick and so um, seems to be a recurring theme with popsicle sticks I don't know I just have a lot to um, laying around so that's what I'm using so anyways um, go ahead and put this on the tripod and show you how I apply this okay this time I mixed it up with less hardener um, gives really goofy instructions on how much hardener you're supposed to use you're supposed to use a three inch by half inch round circle of uh, the Bondo to one three inch strip of uh, the hardener so I don't know how much the that actually equals so I just put a little a couple drops in here this time last time it set up so quick that I didn't really have a chance to do what I wanted to do so anyways so we'll see if this works a little bit better okay just gonna put a little bit on there Okay, maybe I'll add a little bit more here. This is still green. I think it's supposed to be pink, so. Just a short little window here, but that looks more the right color.
Okay, I can feel it starting to set up here, so I think that means it's time to stop. Yeah, because pretty much instead of uh, smoothing it around and stuff, it just ends up uh, pulling it apart. So we are done with that. So I'll let this dry and then uh, meet you at the next step. Okay, we're at the point we can start sanding now, so I'm just going to go for it and I'll speed this up a little bit after a, after a minute or two just to, so you guys don't have to sit through all that. But um, I'm just starting with the outside edge first. I think this is uh, 150 grit sandpaper. Then I'm gonna kind of smooth this uh, top surface off to make sure it's it's level this way. Now. Um, Keep in mind, all I'm doing right now is just trying to get the front edge thickness um, the same. So I might have to end up putting a little bit more Bondo back here so that when we go to smooth it out and um, blend it in with the duct that it, uh, it all works out. But um, first we need to get this front edge to be consistent. Since this was already the high side, I'm going to sand everything kind of down over here and get it smooth and then I'll try to match up this side to that side. Okay, I'm going to show you the progress here. And you can kind of see we're making uh, pretty good progress. Got the nice thickness about the same on both sides here. We still need to feather along the insides. You can kind of see that a little bit. But uh, I'm just going to keep uh, plugging along at that and eventually we'll uh, get her. But that's kind of what this is all about is just uh, taking your time and making it right and end up with a good end result. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and uh, keep plugging along and uh, kind of show you where we end up. Okay, here we are. Um, I'm guessing it's about an hour or so later. Um, I wasn't really keeping track of time, but uh, I know it did take a while, but I just sanded and sanded and sanded and sanded, but uh, anyways, I'm, I'm just really happy with the way it turned out. Um, if I can get it to focus here, I just want you to see the edge. It's nice and rounded. Um, I need to do a little bit more sanding right in there um, but anyways now I think it looks uh, really awesome I think uh, once I spray a little um, layer of primer on there it, I mean it'll just look great and then um, you can see it blends in nice I feathered it back 
and the edge is there um, inside the duct so yeah once I get some primer on there I don't think uh, anybody will ever know that we ever had to do anything so um, don't even really need to do anything up here um, that was already fine um, these top edges they were fine so I think tomorrow we'll start working on reinforcing the duct and gosh I don't know I might even be able to start putting in the bulkheads so there you go the final video for today